country to take the Lowell man into custody, identified as 40-year-old Kevin Kengete of Lowell. The 30-year-old Whitman woman was a nurse working for Bamsey based in Brockton. A spokesperson says B2 was loved by everyone, a ray of sunshine. She would cover Christmas morning shifts so co-workers could spend time with their children. The arrest warrant also shows that Kangete's vehicle was caught on surveillance camera on Tuesday in Lowell and Chelsea, and the victim's phone was also tracking with those same locations. It is unclear exactly when that car arrived at Logan Airport or when and where exactly uh, Mimbitu was killed. Live in Whitman, Sarah Conji, WCVB News Center 5. Thank you, Sarah, for that. An arrest has been made in the shooting death of an 18-year-old Salem State basketball player. Prosecutors claim he was targeted as he drove in his car. News Center 5's Emily Maha is live in Salem with what may have led to the shooting. Emily. Well, Erica, prosecutors say the accused shooter was looking for a woman who was riding in the car with Carl Hens Belliard when that deadly shooting happened. Tonight, his death is affecting those not just here in Salem, but it's resonating all the way to the state house. We were both very bothered by it and bothered by you know, what we've seen in terms of the degree of violence among our young people. An emotional Governor Maura Healy speaking just hours after 18-year-old Marcel Peña Canela stood in front of a judge accused of shooting and killing Salem State freshman Carl Hens Belliard. The governor and lieutenant governor meeting Carl and his team earlier this year after the high school basketball team won the state championship. My heart aches for um, Carl's family, um, for his little brothers and sisters. Peña Canela stood out of view, pleading not guilty after prosecutors say he admitted to firing the shots that killed Belliard early yesterday morning. The prosecutor saying Belliard was driving in a car with a woman when he was shot in the back, going on to say the accused shooter had been in an on again, off again relationship with the woman and he was looking for her. Pena Canela's attorney saying she just got the case and there's a lot to it. At this point in time, my client is innocent. I think there's a lot of information that we need to know. Now, many, including the governor, are left mourning the loss of a promising young basketball star. And killed at a time in his life when he should have every opportunity available to him.